Okay, YouTubers, uh, wanted to talk to you and uh, show you tonight another Pink Floyd song called Learning to Fly, a uh, very popular song. Uh, it's a great song for, for playing on an acoustic guitar of some kind. This is a, a, a classical guitar. It sounds even good on that. So uh, I'm going to go through the major parts of this song uh, and show you how I play it on, a, on an acoustical uh guitar and uh, obviously there's some solos in here where we'll we'll talk about the chords that are associated with the solo but uh, uh, you'll have to figure out the solos on your own so anyway without uh, with that in mind uh, let me just sort of remind you how the song uh, sounds and uh, and then you can uh, then we'll talk about each individual part okay Okay, that's how the song uh, sounds. Uh, there's a couple of ways to play the intro riff. Uh, I played it the, the way that uh, I usually play it during the chorus, uh, which is sliding up from this chord, which is A G, uh, with a little added uh, ring finger here to add some additional uh, reinforcement here on the third fret of the uh, second string, the B string. Add that on there. Uh, that that enables you when you're when you're playing this song. It enables you to slide up to this position, which is uh, you're basically keeping these fingers, uh, middle finger, uh, fifth fret, fifth fret here on the ring, fifth, uh, fifth fret here on the little finger, and you got the E, B, and the low E, and that is an A seventh suspended fourth and you're going to be sliding up to that so it's that's one way to play that I'll show you the other which you can throw in every once in a while uh, okay the next chord uh, in the intro is uh, it, it drops from from that slide up back down to the G and then it walks down uh, to give an F sharp G so it, so you just just moving your finger down to the F sharp uh, uh, on the E string there so that's an F sharp this is in standard tuning the guitar is in standard tuning so nothing special about that okay I got a little phase on this and a little reverb on the uh, on the guitar, so it has that sound. Okay, um, so that's uh, the, like I said that that second chord is a, a G with an F sharp, so we're dropping from G, and then the next chord is an E minor seventh, sort of the full E minor seventh. So you got E minor here, just like you would normally play it. Uh, and then you put your little finger there on the B string third fret, so you get a more reinforced E. And then you got to quick do a quick jump to a D. So it's so.
So you're going to go from an E minor 7th to a D real quickly, and then you jump back to the G. Okay, uh, so that's the intro. Uh, let me go ahead and start out and show you how um, to play that, uh, how it should sound, and I'll sort of call out the chords. So we start out with the modified G chord. Jump to D. Okay, so that's the intro. Uh, not very hard to do. Uh, sounds better with uh, additional instruments on there, but uh, it sounds okay. All right, I'm going to move into the verse now. Basically, the verses are essentially playing the intro chords, uh, uh, and you're just singing along to those. So uh, I'll just walk through the chords. Uh, it starts up again on the G uh, chord uh, to start, and then it, and then it slides up to that uh, A seven suspended fourth, which is uh, in this position right here uh, on the fifth fret. Okay, like I showed you before, and it drops back down to a, a G, and then to the G uh, with an F sharp bass, E minor seventh, uh, stretch to the point of no turning back, G flight of fancy, windswept field, standing alone, my sense is real. And then, it's, and then there's another line of that goes to a C. Can't keep my eyes from the circling. That's an A minor. Circling sky. F tongue tied and twisted. Just an C. Earthbound misfit. I am. Okay, uh, so that's how that's, that verse is done. Uh, I'll play the last three lines and you can get, as you go back into the, into the intro, the first, you go into the first solo uh, by jumping back into that intro riff, uh, the chordal riff that I showed you. So let me do that. Fatal attraction is holding me fast. How can I escape this irresistible grasp? Can't keep my solo one uh, and you're basically just playing that uh, over the soloing guitar which uh, I won't go into then it goes into another verse uh, uh, second verse uh, ice is forming on the tips of my wings same chords as before in the first uh, uh, in the first verse once you finish that second verse it goes into an interlude portion of the song and uh, essentially you are uh, playing this, uh, and, and I'll jump into the last line. And um, if you remember in the song and in, in, even in the video, the guy's getting ready to jump off the cliff. And so you're sort of holding tension with, a, in this case, an F chord. Uh, and, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, just, it's just a bar F chord. So let me jump into that, and then I'll, then I'll explain what, what's going on. So let me jump into the last line of the uh, second verse. Got a twisted, just an earthbound misfit I am. And you're just holding tension on it. There's sort of a uh, organ, uh, guitar solo-ish type thing. Guys, get ready to jump off the cliff, and 
then the guitar comes in and then you go to A minor 7. It's A minor 7th on the 5th fret. And D suspended 9th. To a D. And then you go to the 3rd verse. Above the planet. On a ring and a prayer. My grub a halo. Vapor trail in the empty air. Now this third verse, you don't do any of the sliding. You're doing just a G, this modified G here, fuller G, and then you're going to an E minor seven. So it's above the planet on a wing and a prayer. My grub the halo, a vapor trail in the empty air. Across the clouds, I see my shadows fly. Okay, so that goes into that, uh, into this, it plays three lines of that. There, and it goes to a C. There is no sensation compared to this suspended animation. That's F, C, a state of bliss. Can't keep my mind from circling skies. A minor, F, tongue tied and twisted, just an earthbound misfit. I am, and then you're back into the intro. Basically, it's a solo number two all the way to the end, and you sort of fade out. Okay, uh, that's that's how I play this song. Um, you know, uh, I know there's other ways to play it. I showed you some of the variations on the intro to slide up to the, uh, basically to the ninth fret. And this is a D shape, up to the ninth fret and slide down, that's another variation. I guess you could throw that in there. on there you can add little uh, add-ons to that song it's a great song uh, get a couple of guitars strumming uh, it's a great song to sing another Pink Floyd song uh, that is very playable on an acoustic guitar uh, as before if you have any questions or comments about my videos uh, just go ahead and leave, uh, go to my YouTube channel and leave uh, a comment uh, or a question and uh, I'll help you if I can all right thanks a lot have a great day